Hey guys, it's Carolina here from Carolina's Crafts and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have another school themed um, project to share with you guys and it is another cinch bound album, which I just love making these. I am gonna be making a couple of more as well. So you guys are gonna be seeing these school themed cinch bound albums, but they're all a little bit different and um, I think it's fun to see them. So this time I used this paper pad from DCWV from Joann's called School Time. And it does have like pink papers in here. Like some are pink, um, minty kind of colors. Some are more boy themed. So this one in particular, I did more um, girl themed. I did add a lot of pinks. I also picked out some papers um, from here that are double sided that could be more for a boy. Um, and I tried to stay, stay clear of the pinks for the other one I'm gonna be making. Also guys, I do have this album available in my Etsy shop. So if you guys are interested, check out the link in the description box down below if you guys wanna get yourself this cutie patootie. Okay guys, so let's get started and I'm gonna show you guys um, what I created. And in case you guys want to get the paper pad, I will have it linked down below for you guys so you guys could check the description box down below. Um, so I made this um, cinch bound album. It measures six and three quarters by five inches with a one and a half inch um, spine. And this one says, stand tall and be proud of yourself. You are amazing and can accomplish anything. Super, super cute. Like I said, it has, or maybe I didn't say, but it has a glitter bow up here. I just thought it looked cute. Um, it's got a bow um, or a ribbon closure. I've got some enamel dots here. It's got some gold foiling and a little bit of gold stitching around the cut aparts. Um, I did stitch in black on the spine. My gold wasn't liking it today or yesterday when I was making this. The gold didn't want to go, um, so I just did black instead and I thought I brought in some of the black here. Um, it is a leather spine. This is leather from Hobby Lobby and I could have that link down below as well. And then here is the back side. Um, just some polka dots from the paper collection and I've got my handmade logo sticker. So this opens up like so. And this is what it looks like when you open it up. It's so cute, I love it. Um, so here it says you're a winner and I've just got these little like tab closure thingies and then this flips open this way. You could add a photo here. This flips this way, you could add a photo. You could do journaling here or add a photo and then this flips open. And then all of this on the inside is like this polka dot and you could add another photo here. So that just looks like that and those close back up and you've got the little um, photo tab closures. Then in the center, this is just the spine, I put a little flag here and it says A plus student. And I actually did use um, some ephemera from Cartabella School Days collection. Um, I just have their ephemera from one of the Echo Park sales. So. I thought I would use that in here because otherwise there's no ephemera that comes with this die cuts with a view paper pad. Um, so I do have the cinch here. My cinch wire is three quarters. Um, so that's what I have there. Um, here, uh, okay, so here's the paper. I just, I loved this paper guys in this collection. So it says school is cool. Uh, I made this into a pocket and it's got a little pull out here. So that's what that looks like. And the back side is matted with some white. And you can see it's like a, a like little pocket because I um, put like a little punch there using my circle punch. So I made like a little notch. So that lives in there. Then this flips here and you could do like journaling here. You could add the date or the year. And then you could do journaling here. I love that this collection has a lot of like lined and kind of grid pages, which I loved. Um, here I made a pocket and I just decorated. It says S is for school and you are absolutely amazing. So the S is for school is from that school days um, ephemera by Cartabella. But this you are absolutely amazing is from this paper and I just um, fussy cut it out. So I just added it there because I needed some ephemera in this collection. 
And then this cut apart is actually from school time. No, school. I love school maybe by Echo Park. Um, so that's what that looks like. You could do journaling and add a photo on the back. And obviously you could add more photos just in the pockets alone if you want to. Then this flips, you could add another photo here. Here I have another cut apart from the Echo Park collection and it says first day of school. This opens up so you could add a photo and photo. And then behind that, I made like a little um, journal spot. So you could journal on there. And that just tucks right behind that first day of school thing. Then this flips, you got more writing space and you could add another photo here. And I did include some photo mats and then some pages I just left uh, kind of blank so you could add your photos however you want. Um, I chose to do it that way because, well, one, I wanted to give you guys ideas of some photo mat kind of layouts and ideas because some people don't know what to do if there's no photo mats, right? But then some people love not having photo mats because you could add whatever size photo you have. So I just kind of did a combination of both similar to how I did it in my last school album. And that's pretty much what you guys voted on my Instagram. I had you guys vote and some of you guys said no photo mats. Some of you guys said photo mats and it was fairly close. And then people messaged me saying do half and half. And I was just like, okay, I'm just, I'm just going to do half and half because I don't know. So here is a pocket page and you've got an insert here. So that's what that looks like. You could add a photo here if you want. And then you could do journaling on the back. So that lives in this pocket here. And then the next page, obviously you could add another photo. Here's more ephemera from that Cardabella collection. And I just put it there and added a little tag that you could journal on. That just tucks right behind there. Then here, more writing space. Here's where I do have a photo mat. It's for a three by four size photo. You could still tuck your photo behind this because that's not stuck down completely. Um, but that's just like an idea. I use some scrappies to kind of decorate out the photo mat and some ephemera. And then here you got more photo space. So that flap, that flap flips open. And then here you could add another photo. You've got another pocket here, and I've got just a couple of cut aparts in there. Um, so yeah, that lives in this pocket. I don't think I added like a side pocket like this in my last school one, but I did here. Um, you could add another photo here, more writing space here. There's plenty of like writing space, and this is just front and back writing space. Then this flips open. You got even more writing space, but feel free to also just add photos. You could add a photo and do some journaling on the side. Um, so that's that. You could add another photo. Here I have this cut apart um, that says number one. You could do some journaling on there. And then I do have this little pull out tag. It sends a nice little teeny one. And I added like some scraps of ribbon onto this one just because um, it was getting a little lost. Like if I didn't add that, this would go like all the way in and you'd have a hard time pulling it out. So I added a little scrap ribbon there. Um, this is also another pocket page. So you could add more photos on here and do journaling. And this one I used another scrap and this has got lined um, paper on the back. Obviously you could cover up lined paper and add photos but it's also great for journaling. So that's that. Then this flips. Here I did a couple of photo mats. These are two and a half by three and a half. Um, and this is only stuck down in the center, so you could still add your photos behind that. You can add another photo here and again here. Um, here I have another pocket that I just decorated. Um, used a little scrappy and then it says great work. Um, I actually didn't realize this when I hauled this collection school time. I didn't realize the little girl was wearing a mask. Um, so that must have been made during, um, the pandemic. I mean, I think it was because I think it came out around that time. I just, I never realized it before. So it says learn, study, and be safe. And th that's that. Here you have journal space. You could add, um, journaling on the back here or add a photo. So those live in this pocket here. Then this next page, more writing space. Here you could um, tuck a photo behind this because this is left open and it says work hard and be kind. And this is another um, 
pocket page. So you've got this pulled out here. So this one's a little smaller because this pocket is glued on this side here, whereas the other ones are only glued on the bottom. So this one's a little different because I was using up some scrappy papers. Um, you know, I used up a full, I think, 12 sheets of paper. That's how I normally make these with like 12 sheets of um, double-sided paper. Then here I have like this paper, it's just got the letters and um, images that go with each letter. And then this one flips open. So you got more writing space or journal space. And here I actually put a paper clip and I added this cut apart that says so many books, so little time. And I thought that was really cute because now here you could list all the books that you want to read or that you're currently reading. And I thought that was fun. And then you could add a photo on the back here of your child reading a book and do something more there as well. But I thought that was really cute. And I just used some scrap paper um, of that writing paper. So I really liked that. Then here I um, had another piece of scrap paper. Like that's why there's some smaller pages in here, but it definitely adds to the look of the album um, and it adds more interest, which I love having like the different sizes of pages. So here I used another piece and I just ended up folding it a couple of times. So it folds in once and then also so it made like a little pocket here. And here I just made a little tag and you've got writing space on the back. So that's that little tag that lives in this pocket. And then you open this up and you could still add like a photo and whatnot. Then here it says school memories. You could tuck a photo underneath that. Um, here I added a glassine bag and it's just got like a ephemera piece that you could write on, but I just, I put it there just for the time being and you could add it anywhere. And then you could add little photos in here if you'd like. So I thought that was cute. Um, or you could just journal on the back. That's another option and then add photos here and still have that paper clipped however you know the person wants to do it but I thought that was cute I tried to like mix in a little bit of like junk journal styling in here because I really like that um here you could add another photo I do have another photo mat here that I made um for a three by four size photo and I um have this ephemera piece that says I love to read and I made it a little tuck spot so obviously you could tuck your photo behind there and it'll be the full three by four size photo but then it also has this, um, like a cute, uh, like a little thing, like when you borrow a book. Um, so I thought that was cute because it also says I love to read. So I just put that there. Um, and then here it says favorite teacher. And I just have a couple, that's like a little tuck spot. And I just have a couple of cut aparts. So you could write on the back here. You could add a photo over this if you'd like. You could add a little photo over it. Do journaling on the back and whatnot or you could just add this somewhere else in the album. And then you could add another large photo back here. So that is the whole cinch bound um, school album that I made. Um, I really love how it turned out. I hope you guys enjoy it as well. I'm gonna have all the links to everything down below, the paper pad, the cinch I used, the cinch wire I used, um, whatever else, the gold thread I used, it's always linked down below. Um, seam binding will be linked down below. So yeah, I'll do all the linking for you guys. Um, all right, guys. So thank you so much for watching. And that is everything. So I'll see you guys in my next crafty video. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.